how to save the sea turtles, how to help save the sea turtles. The sea turtles are an endangered species, and they're mainly endangered because of the fact the humans are not helping them. It's basically the humans that are harming them. And according to a book that I've read, Search for Great Turtle Mother, in 1947, there were 40,000 a day coming ashore to breed at Rancho Nuevo in Mexico. They're only breeding beach. By 1960, it was 5,000, and 30 years later, the population of breeding females had declined to less than 400. In this particular passage, the author was focusing on the Kent Ridley sea turtle. And however, all the sea turtles, all species of the sea turtles are endangered. And I've come from the Northeast region of the United States, and we have seen sea turtles even in as far as Cape Cod, Massachusetts, around this time of year start to die because they get stuck and the cold kills them. So four ways we're going to help save the sea turtles would be minimizing the lighting along the shorelines, keeping the environment clean, don't disturb the nesting mothers, and to be alert while boating. To begin, I'm going to talk about minimizing the lighting along the shoreline. Sea turtles, they have a natural instinct to follow the moon so the light directs them to the water and in the waters. So extra lights can fuse and lead the hatchlings away from the water. And because of that, the hatchlings can become dehydrated or become prey and end up dying. So something that we could help to avoid the lighting is to avoid beach fires. The second point that we can go over for helping save the sea turtles is to keep the environment clean. Our garbage is being eaten by the sea turtles. It's also polluting the nesting grounds. So we need to secure our loose trash. And another thing that we can do to help clean the environment is to clean up the beaches. I put this slide in. It's data from the Tribune Content Agency graphics of 2008. It is called Sea Turtle Maps. And I just wanted to point out up here in the corner that in red, this is where the sea turtles are ranging about. So it's the majority of the world. This specific turtle is a loggerhead sea turtle. But the most important thing that I think out of this data is that the population declines due to pollution, shrimp trawling, and loss of nesting area habitat. The shrimp trawling is basically netting. It's uh, netting, throwing nets out to catch shrimp. So my third way to help save the sea turtles is to not bother the nesting mothers. The sea turtles, they need privacy, and they need to be comfortable while they lay their eggs. So we need to avoid touching sea turtles if we see sea turtles on the beach. They have their way of what they're doing. They don't want anybody to watch them, distract them. They're birthing. We wouldn't want people to really be in our way when we're birthing and taking pictures, because we need to avoid taking pictures the number that light directs them. So a lot of people tend to see turtles and they want to touch them, they want to grab them, and they also want to take pictures, but the flash is hurting them because it's distracting them. The fourth way that we can help save the sea turtles is being alert while boating. The sea turtles are being hurt because they get stuck up in boat propellers. They're also getting caught in the fishing nets. Like I said earlier from the data that there's shrimp trawling that's nets so basically you're throwing nets down in the water and no one's really constantly checking for anything in the net until hours later and by then the sea turtles drown because they need air to breathe so be aware while you're while you're boating because it's hard to see that we're in their land in other words i took this picture from the national oceanic and atmosphere association this is their picture from Swim into Sea Turtle Week 2018, which was in June, the second week of June. So in conclusion, I've given you four ways to help save the sea turtles. To minimize the lighting along the shorelines, 
to keep the environment clean, to not bother the nesting sea turtles and be alert while boating. I wanted to leave you with a passage from the same book, Search for a Great Sea Turtle Mother. It's American Indians believe that the world rests on the back of a giant turtle and all of North America was known as Turtle Island among the Native Americans. Thank you.